it's me again, Joe you say a reader. Welcome back to another video, and for today, I am going to do Booktube Newbie Tag. I don't know if I am still a newbie. Uh, how do you consider someone as a newbie in Booktube? Probably if he is um, less than one year or less than two years. I don't know what are the criteria, but anyways. It is what it is. I am still considering myself as a booktube newbie since I am still a really small booktuber and I'm still learning, I'm still growing. So, yeah. I've been wanting to do this uh, tag for a very long time now, but um, I don't know why I was not able to do it. But finally, today, I am going to because I was really inspired by some of the Filipino booktubers that I recently met also in booktube. They were so great. I have seen their Bookchip newbie tag videos, and um, I was inspired by them. And I, I thought this is a fun video. This is a fun idea to do. So why wouldn't I do it? So I want to be part of the fun. So, anyways, so um, with regards to the Bookchip newbie tag, I know I need to mention the person who uh, made this tag to give credits, but. I did some research and I wasn't really able to find the <laughs> the person who who made the tag so whoever you are thank you so much credits to you but anyways I'm really sorry if I wasn't able to get your name or your um, channel name but anyways um, without further ado this is my own version of books of newbie tag and uh, we'll start with, let me see how many questions do we have here. We have 10 questions, so this will not be a very long video, hopefully. I talk a lot, so yeah. We'll start with the first one. What did, why did you start this channel? Um, basically, I did start this channel because I was really bored. No. <laughs> I am a very talkative person, if you know me personally, if... Um, you know, if you're my friend or if you've met in person, you will notice that I really talk a lot. But with regards to me as a reader, I did start um, blogging. I do have a WordPress. I also used to have Blogspot. And it's still out there and I'm not really proud of those. But I started from writing. I um, Used to, I was used to be a student journalist when I was in college. Uh, I was still taking Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy. Uh, I love writing, uh, and that's the main reason why I think I need to be heard. I need people to know what I'm thinking. I'm a really outspoken person, so when it comes to reading, I always want to talk about the books that I read, the books that I want to read, uh, what I think about them. I'm a very opinionated person, and I think making the booktube which is really in my old days is more or even better compared to um uh, vlog uh blogs writing blog blogs because i'm a lazy person this is a personal i do whatever you want to do no offense to those who just write on their blogs i respect that but me personally i prefer booktube over um uh, writing blogs because i'm a lazy person uh, I think it is more, uh, it takes more energy when you write an article, when you write a blog post over than just talking in front of the camera and editing it and then posting it on YouTube. So, yeah. And, yeah. I just really want to share my thoughts about the books that I read, about the books I've recently enjoyed. It's just me trying to speak what's inside of my mind. I do have a lot of friends, but not much when it comes to friends who do love books so even though i do want to talk to them about these books i don't have those you know opportunity or venue for us to talk because they are busy i'm also busy in my job so i think it's more convenient if we have booktube that i can just talk to people and meet you know random people online on social media and make them new friends it's great number two what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? I think it's going to be... I actually don't have an idea. I'm, I'm just an average guy. Um, I'm a pharmacist. I, I'm Filipino. Proud to be Filipino. And... I'm not unique. 
and that's fun. I'm just being me. This is me. So I don't know how to answer this question. I think uh, by being an inspiration to uh, to whoever you're watching this video, that uh, regardless of how busy you are, you'll always have time to read books if you really want to read books. Um, it doesn't mean that you're in college, doesn't mean you're working, doesn't mean you're doing a lot of stuff. If you want to read books, you can definitely read books. Uh, I was a, in a previous job, I was a teacher, a university teacher, and it takes a lot of my time to study the stuff I need to teach to my students. Also, I'm taking a master's in UP, Manila, and it's a scenario where it's really impossible to me for me to really read books because I'm really busy in my masters and also in my job but again if there's a will there's a way it's all about your passion with regards to reading and it's all about um, time management what are you most excited for about this new channel mm, <laughs> again the growth the what I'm most excited about for this channel is about the growth. Um, I'm a person personally, regardless of the channel or not. Personally, growth is really important to me. No matter who you are, uh, if you're a bookshower or not, you need to grow. You need to learn every day and that's what I want to show and what I'm excited for this channel. Is to really apply the things that I've learned and to see how the channel grow. So yeah, this channel is still new, it's still young, and I am really open to feedback. So guys, if you do have some feedback, I'm really open. Constructive criticisms, just write, leave some comments down below. I will embrace and open those feedback with arms wide open. I am really excited for the growth of this channel. Number four, why do you love reading? I love reading because I was born to love reading. I can't remember, I think I, when I was still really young, when I was around 2 or 3 years old or 4, I used to read this Berenstein Bears collection and also I have my Loda in New Jersey who sending us, was sending us packages uh, and always what I got from her is aside from toys or books like Pinocchio and um, the this Disney um, children's books and that made me fell in love to uh, in reading and then I was able to bring it uh, to like you know grew old and I never stopped it seems that reading is really part of me uh, when I was in elementary and I was in high school in college there was no dumb moments <laughs> there were no times that I was not reading I always find time to read and I think it's really part of me it's not Joel if there's no reading um, what book or series got you into reading? I think that will be um, the Berenstein Bears when I was a child, but if uh, in in elementary, I'm a member of this uh, library book club, I was even part of the uh, president of that. Um, <laughs> that will be Animorphs by K.A. Applegate. Those series, even though I'm not reading them according to chronological orders, as long as I do love the... You know, if you've read the Animorphs at the bottom right, there's just this um, transformation of an animal into a person where you just have to flick the pages really, really fast and you're like, wow, this is amazing. And then, yeah, I do, I do love Animorphs. And um, when I was in high school, it's of course, I have a friend named Marilex. She's a big book nerd. Thanks to her, she really inspired me. I was really busy in high school. Uh, I was I studied in Negros Occidental Science High School, and reading as, aside from the academics is kind of impossible if you're in science high school. But um, Marilex really inspired me to <laughs> to read aside from the books that uh, or aside from my notes, aside from the academics. Um, she introduced me to Midnighters by who was Scott Westerfield. She introduced me to Percy Jackson, and also to, um, she did try to introduce me to The City of Bones by <laughs> Cassandra Clare, which I do personally, no offense, did not love, because I do think that romance is not really for me. So from since high school, I'm not a big fan of City of Bones, but yeah, I was a big, big fan of 
Hunger Games uh, because of Rem Rem, Percy Jackson. I am, if you're going to ask the people who knew me when I was in high school, I was the president of the Societas, Societas Lingua El Dietre. It's in the English book club in high school. And then I need to organize some games. Uh, also some other stuff to encourage people to read, encourage people to celebrate book month. I, the theme of my games are always inspired by Percy Jackson, King Chronicles. I'm a big fan of, you know, Hunger Games. I'm a big fan of Rick Riordan and uh, Susan Collins way back in high school. Hey, if any of my high school friends or, you know, people from high school knew me, Hi. <laughs> um, what's what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Um, what keeps you going? Joke lang. I mean, I think there's a lot of questions that I need to ask for the my favorite booktubers, but I think the there's only one common question I need to ask to them, and that is, uh, what really inspires you to really think of unique and relevant content that are not outdated are really interesting to the viewers so it's kind of difficult for me because making content here booktube is something that i really find really difficult and challenging so yeah what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome um i think that is finding the right target market is target market an acceptable term in booktube i think yeah um finding the right uh, target readers or target viewers for the content that you are for the content of the channel that you're creating i think that's the most or challenge uh, challenging or the hardest uh thing to overcome when starting a booktube and, uh, number eight when did you start reading i started reading when i was four or three i don't really have any exact timeline when but as far as I know I really started reading when I was a child when I was still you know peeing on my pants and drinking milk um, where do you read I always read on my bed on uh, right beside the window I always prefer reading if it's day I always look for daylight uh, because I do love to read under a bright room or bright um, place when it's night I want to read under a warm light so there's a lamp uh, and also I prefer to read on a very comfortable place like soft like on a carpet on a beanbag or in bed um, and last is what kind of books do you like to read I am um, used to be a fantasy young adult fantasy I mean fantasy young adult young adult science fiction reader also young adult contemporary when it comes to categories i always read young adult a few years ago and then uh recently i transitioned into reading more of adult i noticed it starting 2018 that i gravitate more towards the adult category when it comes to um genres i still do really enjoy sci-fi and fantasy those are my go-to genres but I was really really happy that I was able to discover genres like science fiction uh, sorry, mystery thriller murder mystery thriller I am in love with the genre starting in 2019 I think um, historical fiction which I did not really expect I'm going to in you know enjoy historical fiction because few years ago i did not see myself reading historical fiction but now just recently i've read this year i probably read four thick historical fiction books and i'm proud of myself i uh, i'm exploring new genres new categories um also yeah nonfiction. i do read nonfiction, but i prefer not to share <laughs> the non-fiction books i read because i guess i don't i don't have the urge to because i don't know it's a different story uh, non-fiction is something that i read because 
uh, I need to learn something and apply it on my job. And also, yeah, I do read a lot of genres. I'm really open um, to reading a lot of genres. And I am, again, a sponge and I really want to grow. I want to really explore categories, genres, and there's no genre that I, I'm not open to read. So, except, sorry, except romance. As of this moment, I don't see myself reading romance. But who knows? I used to not see myself reading historical fiction, murder mystery theater. So probably years from now, you'll be able to see me read romance. Oh my god. So yeah, that's it. Those are the 10 questions in the Bookchip Newbie Tag. And thank you so much guys for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video, even though it was really crappy, I think. I did not actually prepare for this. I just opened my laptop and then um, searched for the Bookchip Newbie Tag questions. Click on the start recording and then answer it right away. So, yeah, thank you so much, guys. My name again is Joel, your Bisaya reader, and bye bye.